Anyway, off we go. Oh, I need to use the phone real quick. Now can I help you, detective? I need barbiturates! It's just a fun word to say, I'm sorry. How can I help, detective? She's on barbiturates. Any messages? <laughs> Actually, I think on in this point she's on like elephant tranquilizers. It's the only way she gets through the day. Thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Oh, this should be interesting. So uh, what do you think? Was it actually the strangulation that killed her, the water built up in the lungs, or the overdose? Um, I think it's pretty clear. Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and get me some ice cream first. Maybe a hot dog. <clears throat> oh, what? You too good to sell me fucking food? Let's fuck with some AI for a little bit. It's a hot summer day. Give me my fucking ice cream. Ah, jeez. Well, he's gonna drive us to the receiving Fine, hospital, and, uh, well, I'm gonna say it was a strangulation that killed her. Strangulation combined with the medication, combined with the morphine, nice move, she probably overdosed all there, so they they, they made sure that this lady was dead, whoever did this. Yeah. I'm just thinking, at that point, it's a little bit of overkill. Wait, that was Roy's driving? Yeah. Fucking terrible driver! Well, he, he didn't crash. Oh, that's a good point, but he's still driving like a maniac. He's got a better uh, idea of the power steering involved in the car. You know, it's his car. His car. He's, he's driven it more than me, so I mean, you know, okay. Doesn't mean he's a good driver, trust me. Hmm. Excuse me, Mal, I'm looking for somebody in the fashion industry. Duh, well. I've got a lovely ensemble for this young lady right here. <laughs> uh. Cole, Roy, I have some right. information. I, I, I'm very curious about this information. Let's see. Enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of ah. so we have two killers. Ooh. You're due to an overdose Morphine. Of have you it was. Down yep. It was the OD. Probably not helped by the fact that she had two other right. drugs in her. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. Look at this dude over here. All right, Mal, what gives? Oh, Dead fuck. His name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of... Ew. Blood. So what? Good riddance. Jesus. I found two surrets in his jacket. Oh. oh, wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. Listen, no way. Morphine use no way. Morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall group. Hmm. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? Oh, so shit. Long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found All right. I'm else. interested now. Let's take a look at this body first. Uh, he got... Uh... Yeah. That's bad. Uh, good God. Oh, she was so beautiful. She was so full of life. She was in the fashion industry. Oh, surprisingly, so was the burglar. Ooh. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. I could never figure out how to play the harmonica. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Telephone. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you. Hey. Oh. Let me know. All right. Let's get some answers. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. I'm Roy. I like to suck dicks. <laughs> spick, spick, gob, kike, bug, 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 bug. Bug goo. Anyway, to the police station. We'll go interview this guy. Let's go! Oops. Isn't it, like, right next door? Sure! This is a nightmare! But this is the future! We get to drive cars all the time! Oh my god! <laughs> all the smog creates a protective blanket around Los Angeles, so that way bad things don't get in. Oh, uh, is that how that wakes? Yeah. Is that why they don't have any more water? Thanks to the new gas-fuel combustion engine used in these new automobiles. 
Ay, ay, ay. It creates 20% more protective smog. <laughs> I love it. That's the power of America. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about you. James Bond? The name's Lyre. James Lyre. How well did you know Julia Randall? I killed her. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck, no. I, I, messed up, I messed up my whole plan. <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> uh, can you guys just let me off with a warning and you can catch me some other day? I'm engaged to be Let me kill somebody else. We'll try again. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. Yes. We had relations. You yeah. cheater. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private. I was only her fiance, after all, you lying prick. I, mean, I don't like when people lie to me. Mm -hmm. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know no, Henson. Jim Henson. He was I mean, doing puppet shows Henderson, for her. I don't know his full name. Oh, shit. He was, she was getting in with the big leagues. New York or someplace back east. Or soon to be big leagues. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got it. I don't know where he's from. Oh, that was easy. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. Guys like you crack like glass. She's wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. All right, what about LeBlanc, the dead guy who's on the slab? Have you heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc... Hmm, funny you say entertainer. He had a harmonica. He, he might have been involved, but... And he had a block of wood jammed in his face. Uh. Heather told us that you were in fashion. The fashion Ooh, industry. He's in the fashion industry. Are you telling me this guy oh, is in the fashion industry? And maybe, maybe, Julia was in the fashion industry too. What? Wow. No! This is some great character development, finding out these great characters are in the fashion industry. Holy shit. You know, I really hope we meet another character in the fashion industry. Right now, it's only this guy. This case is so glam. No. I'm gonna stop you right there. No. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out? Who's you know what? I want home. this guy's story. Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Guys, just sitting at the desk, getting all the orders. Yeah, how about if I rub your feet and get you your slippers and suck your dick while I'm at it? Go fuck yourself, Phelps. He's in that car at the light. See, that's why I want a game about him. So now we got a tail Henry Arnett. You know how great I do with these. You got a pretty funny idea of what All right, good. Well, well, this means I can oh, I could probably take a like nap here soon. Oh, probably oh. Yeah, a what's going on right now. Oh, yeah, what's uh what's going on on my wall here? It's a little barren now since I've started taking everything down. Yeah. Mm. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Yeah, yeah. Just driving and well. Yeah, go ahead and cut out in front of me. That's that's nice. Yeah. Excuse me. So what did you do today? I woke up. That's what I did today. <laughs> God, I wish I did that. I'm still half asleep. I've got a nice big old pot of coffee for this uh, long-ass episode we're doing here of uh, driving after this guy. Yeah.
I really wish I would have done something like that. Well, I guess uh, in order to pass the time, we can let people know how we record these. It's actually somewhat interesting. So uh, we fuse, and then uh, we end up uh, being an entity with two heads, and then uh, mm -hmm. I upload the footage, and yeah. then we just talk over it like this. Exactly. So for those of you at home who want to do something like this, here's the basic formula. Record footage, put on YouTube, unlisted, talk over it via whatever apparatus you'd like to talk over, like Discord, Skype, what have you. And for the fusion potion, Sink I'm sure if you just uh, use the Silk Road or maybe if you check your local witch's stand, you can probably find something that can put you and another person together in one body. Yep. So now he's on foot, and now it's even better. <laughs> oh, we still have to do stealth? Uh-huh. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, um... Let me, let me find something to... He's driving to one of those uh, same-day cash flow places. He just got a fucking huge wad of cash. Where is he taking that? Mm-hmm, he's out of here. So, he, so wait, he pawns something. And he got a shit ton of money. We'll find out what he pawned a little bit later. I think that's... Oh, he pawned a ring. Yeah, that... Bet you anything. Yeah, that's what Roy's gonna do. He's gonna find out what he pawned, and we're gonna see if we can, uh, just, uh, very ever so subtly follow this gentleman. Can barely see him. Mm, subtlety. Oh, it looks like he turned the corner. Oh, he didn't turn the corner. Okay. Time to be subtle. And he fucking saw me. <sighs> These guys have fucking eagle eyes when in all the wrong places. Alright. Let's try again. Much slack. Get a bit of a wider berth around him, I guess. Kind of hold B. The camera kind of focuses directly on him, so you don't automatically lose him. So I'll just walk gently behind him. Sorry. Do you think there will ever be an Shit! LA Noir too? Well, if shit like this happens, probably not. Uh, like, I don't think there will ever be an LNOR2 because there is no more Team Bondi. Oh, that's sad. Much slack. This game oh, took so long to develop, it bankrupted them. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm thinking with the millions upon millions that Rockstar makes with Red Dead, Grand Theft Auto, especially Grand Theft Auto 5, that's a constant moneymaker. Could they, like create a small studio, have them work on L.A. Noir 2. Can you imagine this technology now? Oh my god, it would look great. Well, I'm glad they did the remastered version so that way, uh, you know, mm -hmm. new people can get into it so maybe it could reinvigorate some interest in the series, so I don't know I don't know if there's <laughs> ever going to be an L.A. Noir 2, especially when you play there to the end, well, you know. So. But, uh, a, t a time oh. period detective noir drama that takes place in maybe the 50s or the 60s or 70s or 80s or any kind of time period could that could that happen mm -hmm. sure <laughs> hey officer jaywalk get out of the street <laughs> it's cole phelps not jaywalk i mean up oh, shit Oh, look! There's the cop! And then you fail again. Oh, I didn't lose him yet. He's just going down this alleyway. I was actually about to make a joke about how L.A. Noir 2 is probably going to be leaked before E3 happens, but no, it's all Red Dead this year. Where'd he go? Oh, the... Shit! Oh my god, dude. Uh, Alright, let's go to the internet. Let's see what's happening in today's world. 
All right, let's uh, see if we can follow him around that corner and not get spotted. Then a car comes out of nowhere, blindsides you, and then he goes, Oh, what was that? Oh, a cop just got hit. Maybe if you take off the jacket, put on, like, your street clothes, perhaps? Seriously. Have have none of you heard of disguises? Right, so he makes his way around the corner. Okay. Stop. Stop right over here. Very gently. And... Oh, oh, oh. Right there. There he is. Phew. Yep, he was looking. Yeah, I see him looking. Where is he? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was right there! Oh, dude. Dude. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. Yep, that would he's be jumping. One day from now. He is, is booking okay? town. It's going to have to be. Where is he going in such a hurry, huh? LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. All right, <laughs> in and out. Well, <laughs> I've had an interesting day. From Mexico City. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Guy came in all shaken-like, gave me a giant wad of cash, and said, to Mexico City. And then a cop came I in. I just got involved in an intercontinental, uh... Should have seen the look on the pawn murder case. When I told to hand it over. <laughs> so a Fabergé cigarette case. The guy who owned the joint thought this is what he sold to get all that money. For a cigarette case, Arnett only got six hundred clams. That caught a lot of cash. It's worth ten thousand, but he got six hundred for that. Ouch! God, I knew GameStop was bad at trade-ins, but not that bad. But now it's police evidence, so he just lost six hundred dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, the the guy at the pawn shop lost six hundred dollars. Oh, we're getting a message from uh, from dispatch for KGPL. I mean. Oh. What an asshole! You just cutting this guy off. <laughs> Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Yeah, but I'm going to use a phone real quick. Oh my god, ancient technology, a payphone. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. That's a name, don't wear it out. God, I, I just had a conversation yesterday about payphones. And how you don't see them at all anymore, unless you're in, like, big cities like New York or Chicago. I think half the time when you do find them, they're just there for decoration. Yeah. So, the last arresting officer of the, de of the guy who got a piece of wood through his face... ...is this guy who's on the Hollywood Ninth Beat. So let's go talk to him. And maybe we can get some more information about this guy, and maybe you can get us some more leads and some more clues as to who murdered One this lady. To Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few. So off we go. Yeah, Excuse me. My money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Menace to society coming through. One guy plus two dames always equals problems, huh? I thought that it led to three's company. I got a problem in 98, 99 bitches ain't one. Wait. Yeah, yeah, dispatch call. This case is already long enough. We don't need dispatch calls to make it even longer. Besides, we're right here anyway. Why do they always give me the dispatch calls when I'm right fucking there? What? What? Right behind you, Wall. What? Just hit them! Okay. Oops. Yeah. Let's try that one again. <laughs> <laughs> you just shot two fashion icons. We were just about to learn about the fashion industry, you fool. Actually, this is an unrelated thing. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after. 
Wait, what? We're helping the uh, arresting officer, and he is on a case. He's on. He's on a beat, and we're <laughs> okay. Wait, you shot a guy and got I an think achievement? That might have been like a kill fifty enemies or something like that. Now that's hilarious. Because with you, there are no survivors. Nah. The only survivors are the ones that I'm allowed to have. Where are you going? Oh god, more red dots uh. showed up. Oh, that guy just ran past it. Yeah, that Cole guy. Cole Phelps is on the is on the job. You guys just surrender now, and maybe you'll live. My name is Cole Phelps. I am judge, jury, executioner, executioner, and executioner! It's I am executioner, executioner, and executioner. It is just, you know, an executioner on top of a big stand with a big robe and a fucking wig, and it's 12 other executioners determining your fate, and then the executioner who, uh, <laughs> reads you your rights. I'm just thinking, we put your entire body in a guillotine. Like, five guillotines. Thanks. We say guillotines, more like a fillet blade. There's like ten guillotines I'll put on there. You get chopped up into little bitty bits and diced. Bad luck for them. Oh yeah, I was just thinking we could put you in ten guillotines and call it the slice and dice. I was trying to come up with something akin to drawn and quartered. And then we'll feed you to pigs. No, there we go. They eat everything. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. The guy who killed Julia. So Jimmy had a partner, did he? A big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. So no we've way. got I would have had him, three people of interest. Run for it, Willie. We've got you we've got uh, Henry Arnett, who is just looking guilty right the second well, with his fucking one-way ticket impressive. to Mexico. Boxer, we've got of... Jimmy LeBlanc, who's Thanks. dead, who may have Big done the murder, and we've got his partner Willie, big fucking yourself. wrestling dude. Big Willie.